In recent years, extreme opinions that the Supreme Court has handed down have undermined long-established civil rights principles and protections. 2013, the Supreme Court in Shelby County case gutted the Voting Rights Act, opening the floodgates to a wave of restrictive voting laws that have seen states across the country pass. In 2022, the court overruled Roe v. Wade and the right to choose that had been the law of the land for 50 years, 50 years. The following year, the same court eviscerated affirmative action, which had been upheld and reaffirmed for nearly 50 years as well. For example, Project 2025 calls aggressively attacking diversity, equity, and inclusion all across all aspects of American life. This extreme MAGA movement even proposes to end birth rate citizenship. That's how far they've come, end birth rate citizenship, which if you're born in America, you're an American citizen. That's how extreme these guys are. And most recently and most shockingly, the Supreme Court established in Trump versus the United States a dangerous precedent. They ruled, as you know, that the president of the United States has immunity for, 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 for potential crimes he may have committed while in office. Immunity. This nation was founded on the principle there are no kings in America. Each of us is equal before the law. No one is above the law. And for all practical purposes, the court's decision almost certainly means that a president can violate their oath, flout our laws, and face no consequences. Here's what Justice Sotomayor, Supreme Court Justice, wrote in her dissent, and I quote, Under the majority's reasoning, the president now will be insulated from criminal prosecution, orders a Navy SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival, immune, organizes a military coup to hold on to power, immune, takes a bribe in exchange for a pardon, immune. In every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law. The president is no longer constrained by the law, and only limits on abuse of power will be self-imposed by the president alone. That's a fundamentally flawed view and a fundamentally flawed principle, a dangerous principle. Trump versus the United States. The court asserted it was making a ruling for the ages. That isn't true. The court made a ruling for one, a former president. No other president in our history has asked for this kind of immunity for criminal actions. And no president, no former president, not me, not one, not one,